what you don't eat is scraped off into the garbage, as well as any other waste in the restaurant from this kind of stuff. And then it goes into the dishwasher. So that, there's that 75,000 pounds of food waste. And at my house, this goes in the garbage disposal. So <clears throat> solutions. The first solution is what I, I started in 2016, my great focus was no food waste. So I had bags in my freezer, carrot nubs, onion halves, celery leaves, anything that, and everything that I could possibly put in a soup or a smoothie. Then I'm frantically adding shriveled half containers of grape tomatoes and beet tops and everything you can imagine into food that I'm cooking. Because I was just determined not to actually put it down like garbage disposal or the things that don't go in the garbage disposal into the garbage. What I really found out with this renewed vigor is I was starting with the second solution. The first solution is actually to buy the correct amount of food. So whether you're buying for your home or you're ordering out, practice the skill of saying no to more. The second solution is what I've already shared, where I'm just trying to save and use and reuse and repurpose. That's the second solution, is to not waste what you have. The third solution is to compost or use your garbage disposal. I do predict within the next 10 years, in addition to the yard waste composting that's available through the city, we'll have one for food waste. And the fourth solution is the non-perishables to donate. I just have to confess in conclusion that I'm leaving for a month. A couple, about a month ago, I started cleaning out. I found three pounds of spinach that I had frozen from fresh, been in there over two years, buried under ice. That, my fellow Toastmasters, is why we have so much food waste, and those are some solutions. I hope that you can also become aware of how you waste food and that we can together collectively do our part to reduce the methane gas.